word by. Look at where we are. Look. This, I've got the beast back out. I've been working on him a little bit the last several days. I'm on his nose. Or I'm on his snoot. Should I boop his snoot? Would that be appropriate? Um, let me know. Would you boop the snoot or would you just like avoid eye contact and slowly walk away? Anyway, here's where I am. I have no idea if I'm halfway on this canvas yet or not. Probably not. But I'm still loving every minute of it. It, except for when the clear plastic is sticking to the blue. And I've still only found just the one little spot that had no glue on it at all that I had to use super glue. But I digress. Otherwise, it's lovely. Okay, but that's not why we're here today. I have a package I want to open. And just look at, really quick, this bubble mailer. Is this not adorable? Look, that that's a bow printed on the bubble mailer. I think that's adorable. But first, before we get into this, let me really quickly say a huge thank you. Um, after much debate and getting over myself, <laughs> I did start a coffee page um, after a few people had asked if we thought about it. Uh, just purely a thing that it's there if you want to make a contribution to it, um, and we're not having fully talked about what we're going to do with it, but for right now, I'm saying we're earmarking any and all money that goes into that account for things for our business. We're in the middle, kind of, of doing a little expansion deal for our shop. I'm, I'm, y'all, the wheels of progress turn slowly, let me tell you. I'm still waiting. I'm waiting on something to come in the mail, and I've been, it hasn't moved for seven days. It's, it's just in Indiana. It's not that far away, but it, it hasn't moved in seven days. So I digress. That's what I'm thinking we're going to put it towards, but if not, I'm probably just going to sock that away for a rainy day and see what comes up that I might want to get to maybe put on the channel here. Maybe there's going to be some new and exciting thing for diamond painting pens that Edward can play with or something. Maybe we put it towards more machinery. We don't know yet, but we're tucking that away as like a rainy day type of fun. So, I do want to give a thank you to our first contributors. I do not know if they want their names to be out there, so I'm hesitant to name their names. Um, so I'm just going to maybe do some initials, <laughs> just in case. I don't want to upset anyone. Uh, the first, the very first one was SW. You are amazing, and it's probably because of you um, that I started this. I think you asked me a couple of different times. So, huge, huge kudos, and thank you so much for the coffee. Um, the next one, um, the initials I'm going to say are PY. You know who you are, ma'am. Thank you so much for your support. The next one, uh, initials are LD. Um, and to answer your question, yes, it was bad. Yes, this internal struggle. I'm fighting with myself still. It's my pride. Oh. <laughs> no, but thank you so very much for the coffee. Um, one of these days, one of these days, I'm going to pay this all forward. You can count on that. Um, and then the fourth contribution we received, there is no last name, so I'm just going to say it's from S. Um, thank you so very much for your contribution to our coffee account. And, um, if you are interested and would like, I will leave the link to the coffee page down below. I'm still figuring out how to use it. There's still not very much information on there, but apparently I'm supposed to be able to add pictures or little blogging and all that kind of stuff. So I have to play around with it some more. Um, I just haven't been able to get to that yet. So thank you all so much from, from not the bottom of my heart, but from the whole of my heart. Thank you so much. All right. Now, let's get it back to this. This, it came in the mail today, and I'm not going to wait to open it. This is from someone who has become a friend to me. 
um, over the last, I don't know, probably several months or so. Um, she is a fellow pin turner. She has just recently, I believe recently, fairly recently, started a YouTube channel. And she works some magic with pins, y'all. Let me tell you. Okay. All right, so my bag is empty here, but I love these bubble mailers with the bow on them. Those are just so cute. All right, so it is from the amazingly talented Donna Bass. That's her card. And then this card, Sawdust Designs, this is a gentleman, forgive me, I can't think of his name, but he makes blanks, and he has exclusive blanks for Donna's group on Facebook. So I will link um, them down below, and I will also link um, Donna's YouTube channel down there. So I have an egg pin and um, a regular standard type pin. I purchased a blank from um, one of her exclusive collections that they did um, from Sawdust Designs. So see, yes, even though we make pins, I still support some other ones. When I can, oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, shut the front door. Are you, is this even focusing? Can you see this? I literally, okay, and, I, and you're in the shadow. I'm sorry, but, okay. I saw the blank when I picked it out and bought it, but I had forgotten about it, quite honestly. And Donna did send me a picture of it, but I forgot about it even from then. Look, you guys. Oh, my God, and there's a ring on it. Oh, my God. But look, it's. There's green and purple and yellow, and it sparkles. I don't, that, that's got a, I think that's diamond dust in there. I don't think that's glitter. That looks like diamond dust. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, my God, I love it. I love it. Okay, it's going to be hard for me not to play with this. But I tell you what, I'm going to gonna make every effort not to. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and you saw in the bag that there are tips Single placers and multi placers. Oh, and a straightener. So that looks that that looks like a nine placer, two single placers, and a, a short straightener in there. So she does send the tips with them. But, oh my God, you guys! So okay, this is my uh, second official Donna pin. My first one, if you may recall seeing it, was this one. This egg pin. I love this little guy. When my hand is cramping up. This little guy works great for doing some single placing. And I could take this out and put a multi-placer on there too, but I just haven't experimented with that yet. So now I have this kind of Donna pin. Oh my God. I love it. Oh my God. Now I'm kind of bummed. I'm not going to have time really tonight to diamond paint any, but maybe I'll diamond paint tomorrow and I'll have to break that one out and use it. I think I'm going to have to. Okay, and I really like these thank you stickers. I I, I need to get off my bum and find some. <laughs> okay, so let me see the ends of this one taped. Try to get this out of here. So the your pins are bubble wrapped nicely, so they're nice and protected. They're bubble wrapped and then inside a bubble bubble mailer, so there shouldn't be any issues with anything having. Ooh. Look at how cool she turned that. It's like it's like lavender and pink swirlies in there. It reminds me of cotton candy. Full disclosure, this was a blank that I had already. Edward and I bought it. He drilled the holes in it, but we realized that that really wasn't his thing. He didn't like turning them because they took so long. So, I asked Donna to turn it for me. Look at that. That's, oh, that's nice. That's nice. And I can use it from either direction. It, it's like a, a mini, but it's also an egg pin. Oh, that's, that's lovely. It's so pretty. Look, you guys. That's so awesome. I love my new pretties. Look, I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to take a picture 
and post and brag about these new pretties. <gasps> There's also a Facebook group, DP Pin Fanatics, where people, you know, share their love of pins. You know, they talk about new places they found to buy pins. They talk about what their favorite types of pins are. There's several turners and blank makers in there. Um, people show off their collections. It's a place where you can brag about your pins and not feel any type of way about it because that's what everybody's in there doing. Some people do de-stash their pins. There's been, um, like, raffles or, um, I don't, yeah, there, I think there's been giveaways and things like that. So, um, I'll link that group in the, in the information down below so you can check that out too but look at my lovely little donna collection i have going <laughs> okay this is sad y'all i have more donna pins than i do my own pins <laughs> oh pitiful but that's okay that's gonna change soon um as soon as edward decides he wants to make my pins for me i've got my blanks set aside um speaking of blanks um Oh, Lazy lazy River, wood turning. Um, Matt just uh, posted recently a, a blank, a pin blank stash video. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. And, you know, so I guess maybe we'll be doing a blank stash video too. Because one of the things I told him, I was like, seeing his Midwest hybrids makes me not feel bad about ours. I think he does have more Midwest than we do. But we've just turned a, hand, a good handful of them this week. But, um, so we were thinking about maybe doing a blank stash video too. Because he said he wouldn't mind seeing what other turners have. You know, as a way to make you not feel so bad about your own stash. You know what I mean? Every aspect of diamond painting, y'all. From, from collecting the kits to collecting the pins to even the pin turners collect the blanks. So, it, it, the struggle's real. Every single bit of it. Is addictive but isn't it wonderful this whole thing that we've got going on this community the people it's it's just so great um, so yeah all right enough about that I'll leave you some links down below in case you're interested want to check out these other groups and these YouTube pages and yeah thanks for watching and thanks for the coffees um, all of my coffee friends and uh, yeah until next time take care you guys bye